hello guys welcome to my youtube channel today in session with sumit we are going to solve this next problem in our hacker rank series which is apple and orange now in this particular problem we are given with a uh, it, it is basically a scenario where we have a person whose name is sam and he has his house in this red band area now what we need to do we need to count how many apple and oranges he can consume given that he can only consume those apple and oranges which are actually falling in this particular red band area now we are also given with uh, the the point the basically the um, the point in the number line for this a s t and b we are also given with the distance of each apple and each orange that is falling from the respective tree so now we need to find out how many apple and oranges he can consume so let's try to better understand this problem in my presentation so as i have told you that we need to assume that we have a uh, a number line so let's assume this point is 0 and this point is positive infinite now you have five line on i five lines of input that are given in this particular problem the first line of input is basically giving you the value of s and t so s value is 7 and t is 11 so this is 7 and this is 11 similarly uh, in the second line of input you have a and b so a is 5 and b is 15 so basically on this whole number line at point 5 you have the apple tree at point 15 you have the orange tree and at at point 7 and 11 so between point 7 and 7 and 11 you have the sam house and including both 7 and 11 now the number of apples that are falling is is given with number uh, with m and the number of oranges that are falling is given with uh, this uh, variable n so number of apples that i have fallen down is 3 so we have three apples that have fallen down and we have two oranges that are that have fallen down so out of these three apple and two oranges we need to find out how many apples and how many oranges the uh, the sam can consume and he can consume only those apple and oranges that are actually falling in his area which is between this point including both 7 and 11 now uh, the way this uh, this points are given is is not the points in the number line but it is it is like a, a step from the apple and from the uh, from the orange tree so here minus 2 is basically it refers to the number of steps that the apple has fallen uh, from the apple tree so if this apple tree is over here then minus 2 basically means the apple has fallen uh, in the left side of the apple tree in two steps so uh, let's assume that this is step number 1 this is step number 2 so from two steps in the left side we have one apple so here we have one apple i am not good at drawing so this is like apple then this two basically means from point a uh, to the right side so positive means right side from to the right side uh, in the two steps we have another apple so let's assume this is apple number 2 is step number step 1 and 2 and then one basically means from the uh, right side so positive means right side we have another apple okay similarly 5 and minus 6 so 5 basically means from this point to five steps in the positive side so over here somewhere here and minus 6 basically means from this point to minus 6 steps over here so minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 somewhere around here okay now since as i have told you we are not given with the actual point in the number line we need to find out the actual point so for this apple uh what will be the point in the number line so since the 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 point in the number line where we have the apple tree is 5 and since this particular apple is falling in the left side of the tree uh, from from the tree, tree to two steps then this particular point will be 5 minus 2 that is 3 so this will be 3 similarly this point will be 5 plus 1 so this will be 6 and similarly this point will be 5 plus 2 which is 5, 7 so this particular we have one apple at 
a number line 3 then we have one apple at uh, at point 6 in the number line and we have one apple at in uh, at point 7 in the number line similarly we can do the same thing for uh, this case so 15 min 15 plus 5 will be 20 so we have one apple at the at the at 20th like 20 point in the number line and 15 minus 6 will give you 9 which is basically uh, we have the second apple at uh, uh, at at ninth or maybe nine in the number line now you can see that how many apple and oranges he can consume so uh, he can consume one apple because it, it the apple is at seventh point or seven point in the number line and his his house is from seven to eleven so any apple that is falling between seven to eleven including both seven and eleven he can consume that so the number of apples that he can consume is is basically one because only we have only one apple which is which is in this range between seven and eleven and he can uh, consume only one orange because we have only one orange that is between this range seven and eleven so number of oranges will be also uh, oranges will also be one so this is how we what we need to do so we, ne we just need to count how many apple and oranges he can consume so given the uh, given this series and given this series we will first of all require to find the point in the number line and once we have the point we just need, need to make a comparison whether that particular uh, point lies in this range or not and if it is lying in this range then we can count the apple else we can we can ignore it so let's try to now solve this in the hacker rank platform now let's try to solve this problem over this platform so if we go down and look at the coding console we can see that hacker rank has already provided or maybe already has read all the inputs for us and the only job for us is to complete this function which is counting apple and orange or apple and oranges so what we will do we'll first of all find out the uh, find out the uh, the number the positions in the number line for all the apples and for all the oranges and this is the list of uh, the the units from the apple tree and from the orange tree so uh, this particular minus 2 2 and 1 is given over here in a form of a list and this particular uh, 5 and minus 6 is given over here in the form of a list and you can check it over here also apple and oranges is nothing but our list now uh, as you can see like we how we can find out the point in the number line we just need to add uh, in this particular li list we need to add the the point a so with with each element in in this list we need to add this point a and in each element in this list uh, list of uh, oranges we need to add this point b and the same thing we will do over here we will first calculate the uh, the point in the number line so we can say num apples is equal to we'll use the list comprehension i plus a for i in apples the similar thing we can do for oranges num oranges is equal to uh, i plus b for for i in oranges and now what we need to do we need to just make a check whether the the num whether the particular number in the number whether the particular point in the number line uh, which we have just calculated is is basically in this particular range or not between s and s or t or not so for i in number of apples if your i is greater than or equal to s and your i is less than or equal to t then we can so let's create a variable over here count apple is equal to zero and count oranges orange is equal to zero so here we can increase the counter for apple so count apple plus is equal to one and else we can just pass it and we can do the same thing for um, for oranges also so for i in num underscore oranges 
and the same condition will be applied over here also if i is greater than or equal to s and i is less than or equal to t then count sorry count oranges sorry count orange plus is equal to 1 else it will be pass now what we need to do we need to return so we need to return or we need to print so we need to print the output uh, we can check it over here what we need to do we need to print the output so we need to print and how we need to print we need to print in this format so in the first line the number of apples and the second line number of oranges so let's do this thing instead of return we can just write print so print and uh, since we have a specific format so let's write the specific format dot format num apples comma num oranges so here i have a use i have used a uh, new line character so just to make sure that uh, we have the output printed in the same way as it is required so we have written the code let's try to check this code by running the code and looks like we are not able to pass the test case uh, oh sorry 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 i should be returning the count instead i have returned the list okay so here should be count apple <laughs> and here should be count orange so let's run it now so if we are able to pass the non sample test case so let's pass the let's try to check with the other hidden test cases and yes so all the test cases passed so we have basically solved this problem so we have gained the point also so guys now let's move to the next problem and let's meet in the next problem thank you